Hey, welcome to Mornings with Meep. As you can see, I'm Meep. And today I'm talking about Dostoevsky's The Gambler. I'll link to my review of the novel in my blog post and in the comments or the notes on the on the video. But what I want to talk about with The Gambler is actually with regards to something called Gambler's Ruin. And this is generally given to probability students to figure something out. Um, you have a gambler playing a game and they have a certain amount of money to start out with and they stop in one of two absorbing states. When they've made a certain amount of money, then they stop. And then when they lose all their money, they stop. And you can look at the probability of being absorbed in the win or the loss stage. So, you know, that's nice from a mathematical problem point of view. The issue is real life. And I think Dostoevsky really paints a good portrait. Now, I don't have direct experience myself with problem gambling. Uh, I look at gambling as an entertainment. I've bought a lottery ticket once in my life and that was kind of, it was okay. Um, I might buy one again, but really it's it's because you're paying $2 or whatever. I'm not going to spend more than $2 uh, for a dream. But it's not an investment strategy. So um, the issue is, and, and Dostoevsky does seem to have had direct experience with addictive gambling. And he was not unique in Europe at the time, and it's not unique now. The game he uses as his example is roulette. His main character and the other characters, I believe, are in some German towns. It doesn't really matter which towns. And they go to the roulette tables. And there's all sorts of things about the culture around gambling. But I would say the best part is explaining the mindset of the gambler. Uh, early on, he's up at a table and he sees one character say to somebody else who has just won, you need to walk away from the table. Uh, otherwise, you're going to lose all your money. And that's, of course, what keeps happening to the people who get hooked. They do win big, but the problem is they don't stop when they win big. That's the issue. When it's true gambling, and when I say a true gambling, I mean like the way it is in a real casino, it does not take any cheating whatsoever for the house to always win. It's in the probabilities and they definitely have the law of large numbers on their side and they know how to manage the game. You have to uh, know that your expected value is always going to be negative. And if you do certain behaviors where you know your expected value is going to be positive, that means you must be cheating or you're doing something like card counting, which they will catch you at eventually and ban you from the casino. So those are your options for uh, casino betting. Now, I'm not including, say, poker tournament play. Um, people really can make money doing that, but you're playing against people, the house gets a cut, it's a little, it's a little different uh, when you're when you're doing that. But let's just say something purely gambling, like craps or roulette, or or the um, uh, one arm bandit um, slots. You have to go in. You will stop when you lose all your money, and that part of the problem is, of course, when the characters lose all their money, they go and try to borrow more. That's bad, but. The strategy is, and this is what I've always done if I've gone to a casino, is I have a certain amount of money that if I hit a winning up there, and this has never happened to me, I'm stopping. My mom did this. First time she went to Vegas, did the slots a couple times, got a jackpot of, I don't know, I think it was $1,300. And she started compulsively putting the coins back in, and but she stopped herself. I'm like, wait a second, if I stop right now. I will have paid for the vacation. And that's the attitude you need to take. It's entertainment, maybe you'll get a return, but it's really not a good use of your time and you're more likely to lose all your money than to hit a jackpot. So if you stop when you hit that jackpot, you're up, but you pay the gambler's ruin game until there's no absorbing top state, you will definitely lose. Bye.